Hello and welcome to this demonstration on uh, integer overflow vulnerabilities. So what we'll be seeing today is a very, very simple program uh, which many of us actually code in uh, this particular way. But uh, we will actually demonstrate that there is a vulnerability in this program and we will show how this vulnerability can be used to actually subvert execution or make the program behave in a very abnormal way. The code that we are looking at is uh, present in the VM that is shipped along with this particular course that is the secure system engineering NPTEL course and uh, the program as such is present in this directory NPTEL codes module 7. So we uh, look into the file integer overflow.c. Now the program we look at is uh, very simple. Uh, there are two functions, a main and the function. Uh, in the main function, we have uh, three local variables a, b and c. a has a value of 1, b takes its input from the command line arguments and c essentially does uh, a plus b. Now if c has a value greater than 0, that is if c is a, is a positive number, then the value of c becomes 0 and uh, the function would terminate. So let us first see uh, this working in the right way and uh, so for example, let us make this code as follows, make team and then make and you run integer overflow and specify a number such as 55 and what we see is that the sum is printed as 55 plus 1 is 56. Now uh, at, uh, just by eyeballing the code, uh, the bug in the code is not very obvious. However, what we will now demonstrate now is that by changing the input which is which would typically be uh, in the user control, the attacker would be able to make this program behave maliciously. For example, the attacker could give a positive value of b and make this particular function get invoked. So um, the vulnerability that we are actually going to exploit here is that each of these variables int has a size of 2 power 31. So typically this is a signed integer. So the maximum value that can be represented in the signed uh, integer on this 32 bit machine is 2 power 31 minus 1. So if uh, this value is actually given as input to b, then this maximum value plus 1 will cause uh, a wrapping uh, to occur and uh, the value of c would become 0. So the value of uh, 2 power 31 minus 1 can be obtained, uh, we will just calculate that right now. So it is uh, put in decimal mode and uh, we take 2 power 31 minus 1 would, give, would be this particular value uh, 21474836475. So let us give this as input um, overflow and paste this value here and what we see is that the uh, value of c indeed has become 0 and therefore this if condition has not entered but rather function has uh, been, been invoked. So what attackers could do this way is that they could manipulate what inputs they give, uh, manipulate the arithmetic that has uh, been computed so that there is an overflow and uh, would not ha have thought of such overflow during the testing. And with this they would be able to actually execute vulnerable functions uh, in the code and uh, do a lot of other malicious aspects. So some of these things we have actually discussed as part of the lecture corresponding to integer overflow uh, which we have seen in the previous videos. And uh, many of these modern uh, malware would use such uh, vulnerabilities in integer overflow or uh, signness of integer or the width of uh, integer to subvert execution and create payloads. Thank you.